how to use Vaadin charts in an Angular 2 application. Let's have a look at this uh, simple demo application that displays the German population for the year 2010 in a Vaadin grid. I have here an index.html file that imports Vaadin grid element. And the entry point of my application is population app. Population app's template is simply a population list in which the Vaadin grid is defined. The data source in this demo is provided through getJSON method that loads the data from local JSON variable. Now, let's run this application to see how it looks like. The data is loaded in the grid. This might not be the best way to display the data. Visualizing this data in a chart will give a better user experience. To add Vaadin chart in your Angular 2 application, simply start by installing it using Bower and include the element in your index file. Next, I'm going to create a new component called population chart. Let's make the component selector population dash chart. Now I need to import Vaadin chart related directives. For the HTML template, I will copy a simple bar chart template from Vaadin documentation without any modification for now. And finally, import the population chart into my population app and add it to the HTML template. Now let's run and see the results. This is a simple hard-coded data displayed in a Vaadin bar chart. Let's bind it to the same data source used by grid. First, I will start by writing helper methods to format the data for charts. Then let's update our HTML template to load the data from those methods. I'll make the data series to load through a property and remove unneeded series. Now let's define the properties in the population chart component and load it in the constructor using the previously defined helper methods. Looks good. Maybe this chart is not the best to represent this kind of data. Changing to a different chart type is quite easy. I will change to a column chart to be able to compare male and female data side by side. To do that, I will change the import from bar chart to column chart in the index file. Then I will update the HTML template to use the correct tag name. And remove the plot option since it's not needed anymore. And that's everything. Let's see the results. Now the comparison looks better. We can still enhance the chart by adding subtitle and make the tooltip more meaningful. Please take a look at Vaadin chart element documentation for additional APIs. You can get the source code for the original demo as well as the modification we did here from the GitHub link below.